It's time now for a Mo Fire moment of questioning, proudly brought to you by Mo Fire Energy Drink. These are quick fire questions that the judges will ask. Now, each finalist will draw a judge's name from right here, from whom they will receive a question. We will give them exactly 30 seconds to answer that question. Starting with Humba. Thank you, Humba. Your question, courtesy of Joanne Strauss. Good evening. Humba, social media has created a society which is somewhat personally disconnected and digitally connected. How would you encourage people to put down their phones and work on real connections? Well, South Africans are people who are built with connection and community. I urge us to all go back and to really search for true meaning and purpose in the people that we are. So I want us to put down our phones and to really seek for ourselves and look for our own knowledge because this is who we are and these are the things that we would stand for. Thank you. Thank you so much, Humbug. Next up. Nande. Thank you. Nande, your question is from Leandi. <laughs> Hi, Nande. Hi, Leandi. Some people are of the opinion that women who are not mothers and are unmarried are not experiencing or part of true womanhood. What is your opinion on that view or belief? Basing womanhood on childbearing and marriage is sexist. And it also, it also, it disrespects and it devalues any other woman who chooses to do something different with their life. And it especially excludes trans women. It's time for us to look at the qualities that we possess as women, which is our uniqueness, our selflessness, and our tenacity. And that is what defines a woman. Thank you. Thank you, Nande. Next up, Natasha. All right, Natasha, your question is courtesy of Miss Universe Rimini. Hello, Natasha. Good evening. Do you believe it's more important to ask a child who do they want to be when they grow up or what problem do they want to solve? Definitely who they want to be when they grow up because it's not a child's responsibility to seek solutions for damage that our generation has done. We, we are in charge to cultivate our transformational leaders and to cultivate those mindsets. Thank you. Next up, Rayoni. Rayoni, your question is courtesy of Tuso Mbedu. So South Africa faces many challenges, including poverty and inequality. How do you envision using your platform as Miss South Africa to address these issues and make a positive impact in the lives of those who need it? So as a Miss South Africa, I would want to work with government institution so that they can really enforce and increase the basic income grant so that it becomes fair and accessible to all people. The problem is, is that it's not access accessible in the moment. I believe that financial assistance is the first step that we need to take to really alleviate inequality and poverty. Thank you. Thank you, Brioni. And last but definitely not least, please welcome Melissa. Let's guess. <laughs> Do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Melissa, of course, your question will come from the amazing Debbie. Hi, Melissa. 
South Africa is stuck in a destructive pattern. How will you encourage not just the general public, but young people who make up about 35% of our population to go out there and register and vote? Because it, it's the way that we can take back our power and more importantly, take back our beautiful country. <clears throat> Thank you, Debbie, for that question. I truly believe that we need to ask young people why they do not vote. We need to understand the reasons behind anything before approaching it. And I think the biggest problem right now is that young people are not reflected in government in parliament. We are standing here as five women who are powerful, ready to effect change, and we're confident that we can do that. Our voices matter, our opinion matters. So I also encourage you as young people, let us take up that space and let us make sure that we are heard. Thank you, Melissa.